Testing one, two, three. One, two, three. This right here, it's the Abri 771 GMRS. And this thing really shocked me. It was, it was only $8, I think $8.99, Amazon. It held up with the Nagoya 771G. And this, if you know my videos, this is my favorite by all time. So, so the TIB radio, TID radio H3. This radio is awesome. I <laughs> can't say enough good things about it. You take this radio, you put it with a Nagoya 771G and you're golden. For a budget anyway. <clears throat> uh, but And that's, that's all I want to do. I want to just show you guys the low cost to just get set up the best way possible. And that's what I do. That's why I don't pull the, the Ocean Q10 out too much. That thing was like 230 bucks. And I mean, I have to buy all this stuff myself. <clears throat> it hurts my bank account, so I know it'll hurt yours. This little guy is only $39. And it will do it all. I mean, it's, it's insane. So I ended up redoing the Abri 18.8. .8, and apparently wind has a lot to do with it. <clears throat> this thing did really well today. Not as good as some others, but it did do better than it has in previous videos. Uh, the signal stick, the signal stick 440, that actually shocked me. That did pretty well today. Also, the Smiley 5.8s, that's a winner. If, if you ask me, if you want a short radio, <clears throat> sorry, a short antenna with a small radio, you get these two right here. These two, that's what you need. It's tiny. I mean, look at this. Look at that. It's super small compared to the H8. Look at that. It's a tiny radio. It'll fit in your pocket. Easy. So anyway... Let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and run test on this so you can see what kind of power I was pushing. And then we're going to do some SWR test on the antennas that I was actually using. That way you can really see what was going on. <clears throat> All right, so I'm running the Shurecom SW102. We have the H3. We're going to go to channel 15. Channel 15 and testing... 4.60, 4.5. That's great. That's exactly what you want. Let's go ahead and run it on, let's say, repeater 22. Channel 30. And keying up, 4.4. It's what it's supposed to do. So this is the radio that I use today to test everything. Now we're going to test out the antenna SWRs. It's very difficult to do on a handheld radio. I'm sure you can see why, or I'm sure you can understand why. You have a lot of connections going. You have all of this, you have a connection there. Then you have your base, you have another connection here into the SWR meter. Coax leading into here, which there's another connection right there. So there's like five or six different connections you're not going to get an accurate reading, but you can get a really good idea. I'm going to make sure everything's snug. And we are going to start off. Let's just start off on 22. Now, your antennas need a ground. Typically, this is your ground right here. When it's sitting up on a table like this, you don't really have a good ground. This table is wood. It's not going to work. So, let's just try this. We're going to try it without a ground. Then I'll touch it. Then you'll see. All right. SWR for the signal stick, 440. Add the ground, comes down to about 2.3. That's on channel 30. Let's go to channel 15. Channel 15, without a ground, same thing. Yep, same thing, 2.4. So it's within acceptable range, but not for me. Smiley, 5.8. Slim Duck. Here we go. We're on channel 15. No ground. 4.4, 4.3. Grab it. 2.17. So we'll just call it 2.2. We'll do the factory TID. 
I don't think it's, it actually performs really well, but nowhere near as well as an actual GMRS antenna. When TID, when they, when they send out these antennas, these aftermarket things and all that, not aftermarket, I'm sorry, when they send out these long range antennas, they're, they're still your typical two meter, 70 centimeter, which 70 centimeter is close to 462, but not enough. Let's try this one right here, see what happens. Woo, 5.3, dropping down to 3.5. I don't wanna keep that keyed up too much. I've heard it won't cause damage to your radio, but why take a chance on it, you know? So, uh, let's see. Now this, we got. We got uh, last week. It actually does really well. I have no problem hitting my local repeater about 29 miles that way. No problem. In fact, I have no problem hitting the repeater with the Smiley 5.8s as well. But, let's take a look at this. This is the Abri 771. Woo, sorry about all that. Maybe I'll move that out of the way. How about that? I'm not trying to point at you. All right, so 771 GMRS, and we are on channel 15. Look at that, right out of the box, 2.2 2 .2 to 2.4, it's bouncing around. Touch it, 1.25, 1.25. This antenna, this is the reason this antenna actually really did a good job today. Let's see what uh, our favorite, the Nagoya 771G. I'm gonna check it out. Let's see what this thing does. I've actually got about five of these. They all read a little different, but they're all, you know, like 1.4, stuff like that. They're pretty close. So, no ground, perfect, 2.1. 2 Touching it, 1.17. So, and this one actually does really well with the decibel gain out in the field. Good. So the Abri, 18.8. This, eh, it's more for two meter, 70 centimeter. But let's see here. I don't wanna hit the camera. It's actually sticking up past the camera here. All right, so let's see what channel we're on here. Channel 15. And key up, 4.9. It actually went to 4.8, but three. That's, that's like the maximum to be within range, which if you ask me, it's not within range at all. And you'll see in the testing as well. Um, I think that's about it. Well, let's try last one, TID radio. This is the extended 15. It's the stock that comes with, the, with your H8, your H3, all that stuff. It comes with all that. So let's check it out. We are on channel 15 still. Key up, oh, seven. And it goes to six. It's horrible, horrible. It actually did decent today for having something like that. But then again, just don't forget, you when you have this many connections, it's almost impossible to get a good reading on an SWR on a handheld, but at least you can get a good idea. Like this one and the Nagoya. Uh, I think the Smiley, I think the Smiley was pretty good. Let's take a look. Let's see here. No, 4.2.1, mm, 2.11. That's, that's decent, uh, definitely within range. Try the signal stick one more time. This is the signal stick 440. Channel 15, 4.7, 2.3. 3, 2.3, <clears throat> it's a little bit better. The Smiley definitely outperforms it in the field though. Without a doubt, this outperforms the signal stick. Today, the wind was nowhere near as bad as what it was last week. I'm sure the results blew you away. I actually went to different locations. I didn't go to as many because why test something at three miles when you know it's gonna work? So, but anyway, um, I was, I was really shocked today. This guy really performed well. The Abri 771 GMRS. I think it's only $8.99. I think it's what I paid for it. Hopefully it hadn't gone up in a week. And obviously the Nagoya 771, it's always a winner. If you do want a short, then the Smiley 5.8s, this is gonna be your guy right here. Now, when you do get it, it comes with a, a protective cover. The rest of it looks like this. So 
the protective cover is actually for so you don't have any metal exposed so that metal right there if you put this on without the cover you can see all this metal right here and that right there will cause corrosion things like that so all you gotta do is just unscrew it this just slides right it just slides in doesn't screw or anything and then when you put this back on covers everything you don't have to worry about it so it's a weatherproof deal so but this little radio man this guy is is awesome for 39 dollars this thing is the way to go this is the abri 771 gmrs we're gonna try out the smiley and switch it over and see if you can tell the difference. I have a feeling it's gonna be less static. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like, it's, it's almost crystal clear. A Bree 771 GMRS. Watch this, let's see. My first time too, here we go. WRZU 993, testing 123, 123. WRZU 993, testing 123, 123. Mm. A tiny, tiny bit clearer. For $8, you can't beat it. 18.8 Abri, TID H3. WRZU 993, testing 123, 123. WRZU 993, testing 123, 123. That's actually really loud, but they're static. The DB gain on this is actually working pretty well. Let's try the Signal Stick 440. Let's try this one again. <clears throat> this one really didn't work well last time. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm sure the weather has something to do with it. There's no wind today. Last time, part two, man, I swear that wind was blowing like 30 miles an hour directly at me. It was horrible. Uh, no sense in even trying out the Nagoya 771. Okay, this is that Abri 771 GMRS. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. H3, signal stick 440. This one did not do well last time. Let's see. WRZU 993, testing 123, 123. 123, 123. Woo! It took a second, but that actually was pretty clear. Testing 123, 123. Testing 123, 123. It's loud. Basically, my favorite small one, Smiley 5 8. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, it's definitely doing it. Let's try this out. Factory TID. Factory TID. I don't think it's going to do it, but let's see. If it does, that just means that wind. Destroyed everything on the last test. Here we go. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's definitely a lot more static in it, but I mean, it, you can totally understand it, but there is a lot of static. Let's do the uh, TIB Radio Extended 15.5. Let's try this. Still on the H3. Testing one, two, three, A, B, C, one, two, three. What? Three, Come through is very, very clear, very static. One, two, three. Yeah, TID is not making it. The Nagoya 771. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Ooh. 
That's loud. Okay, a Brie 18.8. I'm telling you guys, man, this little radio is bad. It looks funny like that, though, but let's see what happens. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. It, it's definitely there. Nagoya 771G is better. Definitely better. Let's try out the new Abri. This is the 771 GMRS. I like it. We're about to find out how much. It's only eight bucks anyway, so. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Well, that shows you it'll it'll definitely make the trip, but it's very difficult to hear it. H3, Smiley 5.8, Slim Duck. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Signal stick 440, surprised me while I got. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Too far out. A Brie, 18.8. There's a chance this one's gonna do it. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Man, I can't believe that. And Nagoya, this is gonna be a tough one. 771G. WRZU 993, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. It was static, but I could hear every word. Factory TID radio, the extended long range. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Nope. I don't think there's anything else. Just for giggles, let's try the factory, the, the, uh, the Belfang extended range. Let's see, woo, this thing wiggles like crazy. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, one, two, three. That's clearer than the freaking 771G. Gee, you got to be kidding me. Watch. 771G. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. No, they're about the same. I was about to get mad, but they're about the same. I'm gonna try this one one more time. A Brie 771 TDH3. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Hope y'all could hear that. That was very readable. That was, that was good. Hey, let's compare it real quick one more time to the 771 Nagoya, just to see if it's any clearer. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. They're the same, same static. I imagine if I went another mile, that, that would probably be the breaking point, but being this distance, they're so, they're both so good, it doesn't matter. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Beautiful day out here today. And I'm shocked.